and welcome to another Wonderworks vlog. Just me today and I am doing our Florida trip report. So I'm going to get my phone because I have some notes. So you may have already seen our trailer for our vlogs. If not I will leave a link in whichever corner it is. But our Florida vlogs are starting next week. So we thought we'd kick things off with a trip report. Um, just like a brief overview of some highlights and maybe lowlights of the holiday um, and like standout moments. So I'll start by saying that we've been to Disney World once before as a couple. Josh has been quite a few times when he was younger and I'd never been until 2015 when we went together. This trip, like this time around, was so much better than 2015. Um, like nothing will ever replace the fact that that was my first ever time in Disney, but this trip was just so much better. Um, we got loads more done than in 2015, but it was also more relaxing because we watch a lot of Tim Tracker videos. Well, we watch every Tim Tracker video. <laughs> And we actually started watching them at the same time as we booked this holiday. Um, and we had the holiday booked for 15 months. So we'd been watching all these Disney videos for 15 months. Which gave us a really, really good idea of like the layout of stuff and like tips and everything. Which we didn't have in 2015. Um, and also like when we went then we had the initial like, oh my god we're in Disney together and nothing really like sunk in whereas this time we were able to like absorb more of it um, and obviously like we could get things done easier because we actually knew where we were going and what we were doing so because of that we actually also had more time to relax so we did spend a few um, mornings around the hotel pool which was really nice because obviously if you're a Disney World fan you know how hectic and full on those days are so it was nice just to have a bit of a chill out before hitting the parks. Um, another thing to mention is the weather. Now we went at the end of August which is hurricane season. I think I'm right in saying that hurricane season in Florida is June to October so you know it's pretty much like half of the year so it's a risk that you take if you're going to go at those times. But weather-wise, we didn't have any hurricanes while we were there. We did have a couple of really, really stormy days. I mean, it rained every day, I think, which you expect if you go in at that time of year. But we did have a couple of really bad storms. Like one day in particular, it was extremely windy. It rained for about six or seven hours straight lots of thunder lots of lightning i think we'll get into like about 200 lightning strikes in 15 minutes which is just like mind blowing but it did fall on the day where we had mickey's not so scary halloween party booked so if you're going at that time of year and you are like booking extra things like that it's something to keep in mind so a kind of low light of the holiday was that we didn't get to spend quite as long at Not So Scary as we would have liked. Party guests can actually enter and pick up a wristband from 4 o'clock in the afternoon even though the party doesn't officially start until 7 and our plan was to go for 4 o'clock but because of the awful weather we actually didn't get to the party until the official opening time. So as it was our first time at Not So Scary, it was a little bit disappointing that we didn't get to spend as long there, but Not So Scary was also a massive highlight of the holiday, so it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, crowd levels also were much better than what we experienced in 2015. We went 11 days earlier in 2015 than what we went this time and those 11 days have made a massive difference like it was much quieter it was still very busy don't get me wrong it's still august it's peak time but it was much quieter so i think if we were to go in august again i would definitely go like the back end of august because all the american kids are back 
and English families are starting to go home because obviously they want their kids to be rested for the end of the English school holidays as well. So, like, I really can't complain about crowd levels because I personally don't think they were that bad. I mean, if you're used to going at quiet times of the year, they'll seem bad to you, but for me, it was fine. Um, we had lots of new experiences on this holiday, so even simple things such as um, riding rides that we didn't get on in 2015, seeing parts of the parks that we'd not seen before, um, seeing the parks at night, um, to big things like attending Not So Scary, um, we went to Discovery Cove, that was new, and we swam with dolphins. So this holiday was just like absolutely jam-packed with new things. We'd actually created a bucket list, um, which we did make a video for, so again, we'll link it above. And we ticked off everything on that bucket list, apart from one thing, <laughs> and that was riding the Hulk roller coaster at Islands of Adventure. I did chicken out. The weather was also bad while we were there, so it did close but I did chicken out. Um, I don't know what it is about it, like, beforehand, like, now I think about it and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'd ride the Hulk roller coaster, and then I get there and I look at it and I'm like, no, I can't ride it. <laughs> so that was the one and only thing that we didn't actually tick off the bucket list. But aside from that, like I said, there was tons of other things that weren't on the bucket list that were new to us as well, that we did, that just, like, made this mem this holiday like so memorable so we've gone through like the bad points which was missing not so scary i think that was like the only bad thing about the holiday so we're going to go with highlights of the holiday now to finish the video off i want to say the highlights were mickey's not so scary halloween party <laughs> like if you've never been you need to go it is so so good um we didn't meet any characters because the queues for the characters were extremely long but that was okay because just like the party atmosphere and like the decorations and the music and everything is just so good. Um, Epcot Food and Wine Festival was another highlight and another first for us and I enjoyed Epcot Food and Wine so much. Like, I like trying different food and new food. Josh didn't try any of it. <laughs> but for me, like, I absolutely loved Epcot Food and Wine. Um, swimming with dolphins at Discovery Cove was another highlight. Um, again, if you've never been to Discovery Cove, you should go. You don't have to swim with dolphins while you're there. You can get a ticket that doesn't include a dolphin swim. But for us, we really wanted to swim with dolphins and it was just such an amazing experience. Um, watching Happily Ever After was a big highlight. This was the first time for us seeing Happily Ever After. Um, and I've actually avoided anything to do with the show since it started. So, like, I've avoided most pictures. I've avoided all video. <laughs> um, I've avoided people talking about it. So... It really was like the very first time for me seeing it and I didn't think anything could top Wishes. Like I was really sad that Wishes are gone but Happily Ever After is just beyond beautiful. I like I cried so much at it. And then I'd say the final like big highlight of the holiday, obviously it was all amazing but the last big highlight of the holiday was Animal Kingdom at night. Um, which might seem a bit of an odd one, but again, it was the first time for us seeing Animal Kingdom at night because it didn't used to open at night when we went before. We didn't stop for Rivers of Light, we just wanted to experience, like, seeing the park lit up. Um, we watched the Tree of Life Awakening, which also made me cry. <laughs> we did a sunset safari, we rode Expedition Everest in the dark, and... Honestly, the, like, our day at Magic Kingdom, the whole day was amazing, but the evening, like, I was just on such a high when we left the park because I enjoyed it so, so much. So, yeah, Animal Kingdom at night is definitely up there with one of the big highlights of the holiday. So, I think that's pretty much it for our trip report. Obviously, you're going to get to see everything that we did in loads more detail when the vlogs start next week. 
Um, we do have quite a few vlogs come in because we've vlogged every day and some of the days are getting split into two as well. So there'll obviously be a Florida playlist where you can find all of those and these kinds of videos as well. So if you enjoyed this video give us a big thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed then hit the subscribe button as well. And with that being said we're going to get gone and we'll see you guys next time.